All right, and welcome back, everybody, to Banner Saga 2. Um, yeah, let's, let's continue. You guys, uh, hopefully have been following along and seeing what's going on. Uh, if not, uh, go to my playlist. Just watch the thing over again. It's a pretty good series. It's a pretty good game. Watch the first one if you're even more confused. So that's it. You're just going to leave us to fend for ourselves? You know we're heading to Arboring. I've been very clear about that. But what if those dredge return, or those flea-ridden horseborn? I'm not sure about the horseborn, but you can count on more dredge. But why? Why are they after Lundar? They're running from something same as us. But you're running from them. What are they running from? That's what we all like to know. Joshua's eyes dart around for a moment. Does that mean you'll take us with you? You think about what he's asking. Are you ready to sew your banner up to ours? Wait a minute, girl. You may have charmed a few others in the, in other towns into that banner, but this is Lundar. Fine, stay here. We're leaving. Well, hold on. Have you ever heard of a uh, haggling? Fine, we'll sew it into yours. Great, then it's set. That's settled. Joe, sir, what can you tell us of the old wood? Is that where you're headed? With this many? When he sees you nod, his lips purse and move from side to side. Well, strange things happen in that place. It's a place where people go missing or come back happier than ever. Is it dangerous? You charged into a town under attack by Horseborn and Dredge. I'm not sure you consider what you consider dangerous. I guess that means we'll find out. You agree and call for everyone to move out. Good, good, good. Getting shit done. And leave. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. It's the cra those Cragmen, scouts replied. Those who, who's, that's who's tracking us. The woman is limping and rough-hewn arrow jutting from her leg. Horns blow from one front, from the front to the back of the caravan. Two attacks at once. Hakon's shieldmaster, Mulgar, overhears this and says, Wolves of the North hunt like this. You just pull in and protect all sides until they make a mistake. Then you make it costly for them. He shrugs. You move a bit slower, though. Low down and... Send fighters to both ends to repel attacks. Splitting your forces increases the numbers of your wounded or dead. It seems like any of us hoping for this reaction during a quick act. Fuck. Scheiße. Fuck you. Okay, it's weird.
Damn it. Faint smell of smoke goes unnoticed, but many of your, of except a few others, including Horace Porn, it's coming from the south. Iber says, Edinbecker is. If the map is right, it'll take us some time to get there. Roek and Deirdre are unleashing strings of angry sounds and pointing two friends leading to the south through the woods. Clansmen watch them with concern. Let's see if we can help. There we go. Holy shit. Finally, holy hell. Goodbye.
Kiss. Kill them all. Gotcha, bitch. Yes. Fuck Let's continue. Let's go, go, go. Gotta keep going. God, I'm tired. Fuck you. You duck under more branches and suddenly find yourself in a clearing of a proper village. A few people you see tend to the scatter as you approach and only the water and birds make any noise. Finally, a man approaches in robes so badly torn it borders on embarrassing. His arms are covered in scratches and... Huh. Fuck this guy, he's creepy. Welcome, friends. We don't get many visitors here, but welcome, welcome. Is everything all right here? Yes, everything is fine. An awkward silence hangs in the air. Fine, I'll say it. You look like you fought a bear and lost. Oh, do you normally insult those who offer you a place to rest? He didn't mean to be rude, but your clothes are torn and you are bleeding. Daily chores. The woods keep us busy and are unforgiving if you're not paying attention. So it was a beast. Brambles. Ivor gives him a skeptical look. That was no fucking brambles, son. That is a fucking animal or something. God, you look dirty as fuck, too. Please make yourselves at home. We have good food and strong drink enough for everyone. The man begins walking away. Wait, what's your name? He smiles again. We have no names here. We simply are. Um. How about no? That is a big sign that we should probably get the fuck out of here. I'm going to check the market, and we're going to be on our way. Okay, so we can get some supplies. 
And we're gonna leave. Fuck that shit. I know this is a trap. Hakon curses the old wood and the fire and looks at you in pan panic in his eyes. His normally calm eyes. The blue flame is creeping towards the caravan, quickly dividing the path. Which way do you go? Hmm. Go left. Caravan follows your lead and moves left. As the flames creep past, you begin hearing screams. You look down the line and see people and see random men and women brawl shrieking in terror. Suddenly, the blue flames are gone. And though everyone grows quiet, the ones previously screaming run away in various directions. Others call to them, but they disappear in the old... Fuck. I should have said calm down. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, what do we have here for a challenge? Probably something shitty. Fuck me. Okay, let's leave right now. Two bears. There is fucking Dunzo. <laughs> oh shit, coming for me.
Goodbye, Cragsman. Easy victory. Easy, I say. Hey, team, that's okay. I mean, it was an easy win, so I'm not going to complain. The wounded Cragsman pushes himself back against the base of a tree, looking like a concerned beast as you approach. We was just trying to, to feed ourselves, he said. Bogs are all cracked and drained. Man can't find a new place to live without. He lunges for you with a crude blade, but Oleaf pierces him with an arrow, and Ivor finishes him with a quick swing of his axe. You thank them, and everyone moves on. Easy enough. Geirrother's godstone is in the shadows ahead. His guidance would be a welcome gift. Fucked, uh, the sighting, the sight of Gyarados, Gyarados, Godstone in the center of the old wood surprises almost everyone. The Eastway Road surely minimized the Godstone's visitors, allowing lichens and ivies to encase it. Still, the surrounding area appears accommodating except for a rather new and impassable rift in the ground just beyond the stone. And already your clansmen are sloughing, slough, slough, slouching off their packs, I, I guess. Known as the God of the Wise Council and Direction, Giradur, Giradur is accredited with all types of discoveries and good decisions. As you pull away large strands of ivy, Leo raids aloud the tale inscribed. Blah, blah, blah. As you think about the story, you discover a small nook in the stone. Inside is a lock of red hair tied with its own cloth. <sighs> Sweet, I got a trophy. So now you know that this is the farthest that I've ever been with this game. Okay, let's train 200 people. Alrighty. Fuck, can I not leave? Can we not leave? Oh, we needed to rest. Before you settle down to rest, Avon beckons to you. Have you memorized the basic threads of mending yet? I think so. It's hard to find time to practice, though. It feels like someone is always in need of something. Mender nods, but watches you silently. Part of weaving is knowing what patterns you're looking to create before you ever begin. Right, so I want to mend a wound like you did with Ivor's arm. The mender smiles. And I want to use your bow to fire an arrow through a line of enemies. Yeah, but that took me years to... Oh, I get it. <laughs> well, start small. I'll show you the pattern so tiny it will feel like you're doing nothing, but it's the foundation of many great woven spells. Avon's instructions are easy to follow, but tough to repeat accurately more than twice in a row. You're getting it, you just need to relax and... A violent rumble in the ground silences him. His face grows concerned. Juno! 
He bolts through the shaking woods faster than you could have imagined he could move. Oh, fuck. Cutscene time. Shit! Amy, run. Holy fuck. God damn. That thing done fucked her up good. Oh, what the fuck? I've been here before, but not like this. That looks like the, the realm of death. Sikit Resita. An ancient tongue. I know the language. How is it you remain alive while inside of me? Oh, maybe it's not. I'm I'm no longer sure I can die. Troublesome. That's weird. What the fuck? I don't get it. You've been hunting me. Such arrogance. I consume what parts of this world I can. But your use of a power that is rightfully mine is no longer tolerable. A memory enters your mind. You've spoken with the serpent once before. You should not be here, so nothing is yours. False. I am created by a god to become a god. It is you who should no longer be here. A mistake was made, but this is not your time. This is my only time because of you. Everything shakes violently. Have I become so pathetic I cannot even consume you? Why must you consume me? I know of no other way. Everything I seek is just behind your thin shell of flesh. Yet something keeps me from it. And if I kept you from it long enough, would you starve? Bringing gods back to life would be easier. You must have a weakness. And so must you. The others with me will find a way to stop you. The space shudders again. The others? Could they be your end as well? But you can control them all. You blink and the serpent catches your hesitation. So there is one you cannot control. He would be my salvation, but another shudder. I feel it too, we are both dying. No satisfaction, mutual destruction, impatience has undone me. Frustration to learn a solution too late. The space shakes horribly one last time. Venik di Sim Jukul. Jokul. The serpent hisses just before fl a flashing light. A terrible pain rips through both of you, you both. Huh. Fuck. The two of you shriek simultaneously and your vision dims. Wow, what the fuck? Holy shit. Hush, you know, you... Avon, what did you... How did you do this? Save your questions. We should get away from here. Yeah, you probably should. You might want to leave that bitch behind, too. Holy fuck. Serpent... Oh my god, what happened to all my people? Oh my fucking god. Run! Run, 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 run! Let's tore a hole in that mo- Where the fuck is all- Several humans and a few Varl wander out of the old wood to rejoin. Almost all look days moving by rather- By rote rather than purpose. Not much different than you. And the few scant left of the caravan, Ivor pulls you aside. <sighs> this is the weakest I've ever felt, Alette. We've lost so many. I feel the same way. I, I couldn't do a damn thing to help. You've never seen a Varl like this. We all scattered like roaches. I don't know if all the ones missing are dead or just lost. I couldn't tell if we were chasing that serpent or trying to get away from it. In the way, even threw lightning at it. 
I've never seen anything like that. And I've lived a long damn time. He must have wounded that thing a hundred times before it stopped, then blasted open its side to save her. It's a pretty brave thing. Brave, stupid, I'm sure everyone here has a different opinion. None of them really matter because it happened. We move on like we always do. You both look towards Juno and Apend. With the little I've learned about spell weaving, I don't think he's an ordinary mender. And a Volca being swallowed by a serpent and cut out with lightning? That sounds like one of Aleo's tales. How did she live through that? I don't know how any of us... He looks around. I guess not many of us did live through it. The silence that follows becomes an unavoidable presence. Holy shit. Yeah, we lost a lot of fucking people. We lost 200 Varl, several hundred fighters. When Juno stands from the cart carrying her, clansmen recall old prayers and pull their children behind them. She takes in the frightened stares with a grace, but beckons to Avon to join her away from the caravan. The two menders are given privacy, but out of fear rather out of fear more than respect, Ivor shakes his horned head. I'm not sure where all of this is leading, but these clansmen, what's left of them, aren't doing so good. I'll speak to the bigger families and try. While you're doing that, I ever says I'll see what I can find out from the menders. You find a few family members and do your best to assure them things have calmed down. Waterfalls, smashed towns, horse born, and giant snakes, one father says. You got no clue what's coming. Others shout their agreement, but he calls for them to quiet. Neither do any of us, and that's the truth, so we stick to your banner. The others lose the fight in their eyes and nod. Good. Morale's improved. Oh, my God. That's a fucked up scenario. Fis Fisk... Fiskivik. There are signs of reason Fiskivik. all around Fiskivik. Fiskivik. But it might provide a meeting ground for all who scattered when the serpent struck. Could be. Days have passed since Avon pulled Juno from the serpent. Though the Menders are mostly back to their normal selves, the clansmen continue to keep their distance. I'm worried about all the people we're missing, scattered like that in the old wood. I feel guilty. You can't prepare for a giant snake busting up your camp. But these people depend on me. I gave them my oath we would get to Arborang. Then keep going. From the moment you left Skogger, you knew everyone wouldn't make it, but the rest of us, the rest of you can. Besides, what else can you do? You'll stay alive, and as long as you do, these people are going to follow you. You keep saying you instead of we. Are you trying to tell me something? The giant, giant Varl sighs. Juno and Avond. They want me to join them. What? Join them where? They haven't filled me in on most of their plans, but they said I'm needed and that we're leaving the caravan. I'll need to talk to them about this. I've never had a mother, and the way you're acting, I don't think I'd want one. You sigh. What the fuck? Scared the shit. God damn. Fucking shit. Scared the fuck out of me. No doubt whatever you have planned will be dangerous, but sticking with you hasn't really been the safest route either. But we're almost to Arboring. And then what? The human capital full of Varl and fearing war from the dredge? You do what you have to, have to do, but that's no place for me. Ivor told you of our plans? What he could, what's this all about? We are no longer good for the caravan. Our presence not only scares the clansmen, but puts them in real danger. Beyond that, the serpent's attack has clarified our need to move quickly. Something we cannot do with all... Goddamn fucking shit ass motherfucker. Something we cannot do with all of you. But this caravan needs the three of you. I need you to help get these people to Arboring. That's not entirely true. We've wor been working on something Juno learned about the Giradurus Godstone. That's right. Lend me your map. Confused, you hand your map to the Volca. She and Avon hold it at the corners while tracing patterns with a spear and staff. 
The map glows faintly in loose threads from her cloak and his tunic snake through the aged material. The image pulses and it looks alive. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Okay, that was weird. The gods may be dead, but a few of their secrets remain. I've spoken about the darkness and shrouding the land, and now you bear witness to it on your map. The sky will soon reflect the truth shown here. Even the chasms opening across the land are displayed, but your path to Arborang is cleared. Speed will be your ally now. With so few, you should be able to outpace whatever comes your way. I still don't understand why Ivor needs to... The one-armed Varl brings good luck. <laughs> you shake your head but refuse to look at the Varl. Ivor's strength and resolve will be necessary for us in the days ahead. It's the same resolve you use daily, and you have Hakon and the remaining Varl with you for strength. Nod your head. We realize this isn't easy for you. It is, it's not easy for anyone now. Still, you could have made it a little harder to say goodbye. Made it seem a little harder to say goodbye. The Varl gives you a fake frown. You and the rest of the caravan are needed in Arborang. What? We'll assault you there. We'll require every bit of your wits and strength to survive. And even then, you will perish if we do not succeed. How will I know if you succeed? You'll know because you'll still be alive. You must get to the capital. You must stay alive no matter what occurs. Hold out as long as you can. Hold on until the darkness breaks. Silence follows her words. You keep saying darkness, but what is it? Juno stares at you. Your concern about the darkness starts to fade until Avon touches her shoulder. The darkness is a mistake. A part of the world never meant for you. Or us. Or anyone alive today. Then why is it here? Because I... Avon, that's enough. We're trying to do what we have to. You notice her spear moving ever so slightly before your mind moves to other things. What can I expect in Arborang? I wish I could promise you nothing but safety, but Arborang will be a refuge for so many. Clans will vie for power the way they always do, even in the face of destruction. Remember, you are Sunder Slayer. Your reputation will help you a great deal. That doesn't really put me at ease. Just use what you've learned in this journey to keep the others alive to leave. I should get the clan ready to head up the coast and west to Arborang. If you were anyone else, I'd stick around to help, but there's no one alive better suited to take care of these folks. You look at the giant who has been with you through so much. Till we see each other again, then? In some form or another, I imagine. The two of you smile. Before I go, I think it's time you became a let again. Your head might still serve you in a fight, but otherwise pull it down. These people deserve to look at their leader in the eye. Thank you, Ivor. You're probably right. Oled, I'm so proud of you. There are hidden patterns on your bow which will only become clear with practice. Take care. You as well, Avond. Ivor and Avon find a small fishing skiff, and once clear of the water at Fiska Bay is turning green and as foul as Varl hauls the vessel towards the receding tide. I am sorry for your hardship that has become your life. Though it probably means little to hear from me, you've done great work in making it this far. Continue to push hard for the capital. With luck, my small force will face and defeat the darkness before it reaches you. I hope our efforts will not be in vain. Then I hope luck is with you as well. Take care of Ivor. 
Volkov gives you a small smile before following the other two. You turn to the caravan. Everyone on your feet, feet we're pushing to Arborang. It's going to be a long episode. Chapter... God damn it, give me a second to fucking read it. Jesus. Oh my god, they came up way north of... Uh fucking harboring okay everybody this is gonna do it for here for today's episode hope you guys enjoyed watching and um don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if uh you know anybody who likes this kind of shit then uh, send it their way i could always use some more people watching my shit and i love to entertain people so i'll see you